So this smoothie has one banana, half an orange, some ginger, turmeric, and black pepper, and then yogurt. I'm going to use Greek yogurt and milk. It's currently cold outside where I live, and usually I wouldn't want a smoothie when it's cold. Normally I don't even really enjoy a smoothie when it's hot, but I saw this recipe on YouTube and it sounded really good to me with the ginger and the citrus, so I decided to try it and have been really enjoying it lately. If you wanted, you could also add some protein, like hemp protein, or today I'm probably going to add a little bit of flax, like crushed flax seed for a little extra fiber and fat. I forgot to mention that I put a bunch of honey in it. That's pretty essential. The ginger is like so spicy and good. I also like how, I mean, there's an orange in there, so it's orange flavored, but the turmeric makes it look orange, so it tastes extra orange. Well, I'll probably just stare at a wall while I drink this now. For people who haven't heard about it yet, I wanted to talk briefly about the new Synthetic Discord server and the Synthetic Minecraft server. I wanted to start using YouTube memberships to help support this channel, and I wanted to provide something cool for people who became members, so I've created the Synthetic Discord and the Synthetic Minecraft server, and they're both available to members in the shareholder tier on the Synthetic YouTube channel. The Discord is for anyone to join. You don't have to play Minecraft to enjoy the Discord. So far, we usually talk about tech stuff, design, fashion, movies and books, and of course, how to maximize value for the shareholders. It's been really fun so far. I've actually never really participated in Discord servers much before this, and I'm personally 
having a really good time. As for the Minecraft server, the Synthetic SMP is a survival multiplayer Minecraft server. It's not just a regular Minecraft server, it's a premium server. It's an experience. The admins and I have done a lot of work on the server to make sure it's a fun and safe space for everybody. This is my first Minecraft server, but the admins are people who have run servers professionally for a few years, so they know how to keep things running smoothly, and so far everyone who has joined has told me they love the server and they're having a lot of fun. The feedback has been that it's just a really good server to be a part of. I'm really happy with it so far, and thank you so much to the people who have already joined. We've also had a few events so far as a group, including the initial server launch and then fighting the ender dragon together, which were both so much fun. We've also started working on the communal shopping area at spawn, so there's a lot of community building on the server. If you like to play with other people, I highly recommend. If you want to support the channel and join the Discord or the Minecraft server, you can click join on the Synthetic YouTube channel. And if you want more information about the Minecraft server or you want to see the real-time map, you can visit the Synthetic website at synthetic.systems slash synthetic SMP.
This is one of my favorite meals because I love eggs and it's so easy to prepare. There's so much other stuff you could add to this like tomato or even sweet potato but the mushroom and green onion combo is so good. I also love to have kimchi with eggs. I think they're just so good together.
So for dinner I'm making this ground beef skillet thing. It has uh, red onions, ground beef, sweet potato, broccoli, and mushrooms. And that's pretty much it. It kind of tastes like a cheeseburger, a little bit. Or like hamburger helper if you've ever had that. But it's really good. It's one of my favorite easy dinners. It's gonna make about four servings for me, so I'll, I'll eat it four times. I know it seems like I'm cooking a lot today, and I don't cook this much every day. Oh, the onion is hurting my eyes. Uh, yeah, I don't cook this much every day. I usually cook more than one serving at a time. So I cook like every few days, I guess. I used to really not like cooking because I thought it was way too hard and took too much time, but uh, my eyes. Oh. I eventually uh, realized that you can just put stuff in a pan and cook it, and it'll be good. And ever since I realized that, I'm like, this is easy. I still don't love it, but um, sometimes it really calms me down to cook a meal. So I'm going to put the onions in the pan first while I cut everything else and I'm going to let them caramelize a bit. The thing about this dish is you have to cut up the potatoes pretty small because otherwise they're not going to cook in the pan very well. I'm going to put these in the pan with the onions because they take a long time to cook.
Last I will add some black sesame seeds. Super good, super simple, and I have so many leftovers. It's a lot of chopping, but it's not that bad if you're listening to something at the same time. Good evening. Uh, it is now past 1 a.m. and I just took a bath and I'm ready for a treat. I found this at the store recently. It's chocolate. I often like to have chocolate at night. It's really good. It's like, the consistency is like kind of fudgy and it's very chocolatey, but it's also a little bit nutty and a little bit salty. But it's definitely really good. This is the same cup that I catch spiders in. But it doesn't taste very spidery. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a day video. I had a lot of fun filming it. So let me know in the comments if you like this type of video. And also don't forget to check out the Synthetic Discord and the Synthetic SMP if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.